Greetings. Jesus says, Some will not be worthy to be given eternal life at the first resurrection. Pretty serious stuff. Matthew 10, 37. He who loves father or mother more than me, says Jesus, is not worthy of me. So we love our fathers, we love our mothers, but we can't love them more than we love Jesus and we won't be worthy of him. He continues, and then he who loves son or daughter, we love our kids more than me, is not worthy of me. Now throw in the grandkids as well, same thing. So if a person does not love Jesus more than all the people that they love, then and, and, and then they've got to do that for one. Jesus has to be the top love of their life. Second, they have to be faithful unto death. And then they can be accounted of being given eternal life. Luke 20, verse 35. But those who are accounted worthy to attain that age, the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. Luke 20, verse 36, Nor can they die anymore, for they are equal to the angels who have eternal life. And the sons, and they are the sons of God, sons and daughters of God, being sons and daughters of the resurrection. Jesus speaks of a continuous approach to following his teaching, not just make a good start and then fall away. Revelation 2.10, Fear not those things which you are about to suffer, be faithful unto death, talking to one of his churches in the book of Revelation, be faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. So finish the last breath of your life faithful to Christ. Now, now back to Matthew 10, verse 37, he loves the father, mother more than me is not worthy of me, same daughter and son not worthy of me, verse 38, he who does not take up his cross and follow after me, is not worthy of me. Take up your Christian burden to carry. He who finds his life, verse 39, will lose it. But he who loses his life for my sake will find it. This is especially important for the days of the tribulation when the beast power will be wanting to kill people who don't worship the beast power, the fake worship system. Paul tells us that if we deny Jesus, Jesus will deny us. Oh no, Jesus is a sweetie. Sorry, that's what your Bible says. 2 Timothy 2.12 If we deny him, Paul writes to Timothy, he also will deny us. Now Paul's not too speaking lightly. This is inspired word of God. Jesus was teaching two general resurrections from the dead. John 5.28 The hour is coming in which all who are in the grave you can ask, well, who is in the graves? Well, he'll explain it. All who are in the graves will hear his voice, Jesus' voice, verse 29, and come forth out of the grave. Those who have done good, so the done good people are in the graves, so says Jesus, right? They will come forth to the resurrection of life. Well, they already had life, and now they're dead and in the grave. The resurrection of life meaning eternal life. First resurrection. And those who have done evil. Uh-oh. Now we've got those who have done good, and we've got those who have done evil. They're all in the graves. So who else is there? Nobody went to heaven, right? So it says your Bible. Those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation or to the judgment. We've all heard about the judgment. Christ will judge those who have done evil in their lifetime. Church leaders in Jesus' day um, were denying what Jesus was teaching and then questioning him on it, Luke 20, verse 27. Some Sadducees who deny that there is a resurrection, these were great church leaders, they were Bible students, right? And they denied there's a resurrection, they came to ask him about it. So they were reading their Bibles, right? smaller Bibles than we have now, and they were denying what was in their Bibles and which is what Jesus was teaching. Luke 20 verse 35. But those who are counted worthy to attain that age, says Jesus, the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor given in marriage. Because they were asking if he had seven wives in his, first, in his lifetime, I'm sorry, if one woman was given to the 
brother and then he died and given to the next brother and he died and the next brother. So seven brothers had this one woman to wife, then whose wife would she be in the resurrection? So that was their proof that there was no resurrection. Jesus says, he will deny those who deny him and his teaching. Luke, Luke 9, 26. Whoever is ashamed of me, says Jesus, and my words, what I've been teaching people, of him, the Son of Man, Jesus, will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory. You don't want Jesus to be ashamed of you because that means you're not worthy to be in the first resurrection. John records this in John 12, verse 48. He who rejects me and does not receive my words, my teachings, what I'm teaching, what I'm, what and the whole New Testament is teaching because Jesus taught and then he inspired his apostles to go out and teach and that gives us the full New Testament. It does not receive my words. The words that I have spoken will judge him when he comes up in the second resurrection. He's unable by rejecting Jesus' teaching, right? And he comes up in the judgment and he's going to be judged by the same words that he rejected in Jesus' day. At the judgment, at the end of the thousand year millennium is when the judgment will take place. Paul told Titus that humans can deny Christ by their works, not just only by their words, but by their works, by their deeds, by their actions, by their behavior. Titus um, 1.16, they profess to know God. Lots of people profess to know God, but in their works, they deny him. They, they say, oh, I'm a godly person, but then they do ungodly things, so they deny him by their works, being abominable, disobedient, and disqualified of every good work. Paul needed to correct the thinking of some of the church members in Galatia. Yes, church members can get sideways with Christ's teachings. Galatians 5.21 Envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I told you in time past, that those who practice these things, drunkenness, revelries, murders, etc., envy, right, who practice these things will not inherit the kingdom of God. They're not going into the first resurrection because they've been denying Christ by their works. Most Church of Jesus members expect that they're going to inherit God's kingdom and be given eternal life in the first resurrection. Paul makes it clear that is not the case if the members are not behaving in accordance with the words of Jesus. Galatians 5.4 You have become estranged from Christ. You, you first came to understand Christ, you accepted Christ, you were all excited. Now you become estranged from Christ. You who attempt to be justified by the law, you have fallen from grace. So some Galatians were denying the teachings of Jesus and his apostles. Jesus in Revelation points out that a few in any given church congregation can truly understand and be accounted worthy while the majority can be misled and not worthy. What? How can that be? It can be, because those few were dedicated to what believing what they saw in the Scriptures, not so much following what the church leader might be telling them. Revelation 3, 4. You have a few names in Sardis, in the church in Sardis, Church of God, Church of Jesus in Sardis, who have not defiled their garments. They shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Just a few. They were faithful to Jesus and his teachings, and if they died faithful, they would be given eternal life in the first resurrection. Jesus is watching each church member's work, day by day, year by year, to see how they're doing. Revelation 2.13, I know your works, says Jesus, that you hold fast my name, and you did not deny my faith. And you say, well, what's my faith? Well, the faith system that Jesus was teaching, right? If you deny the faith system, you deny Jesus. So Jesus had Paul show Timothy how people can be accounted worthy 
of eternal life. 2 Timothy 4.3 So the time will come when they will not endure a sound doctrine. Logical, basic, biblical, provable doctrine. But according to their own desires. Hey, I would like it this way. Or I would like it the other way. Because they have itching ears. They're tired of what they see in the Bible. They want something more exciting. They heap to themselves teachers. And now we have the internet. And you can heap to yourselves teachers all over the place through internet. Verse 4. They will turn their ears away from the truth. Away from Jesus and his teaching. And be turned unto believing gospel, Bible, fables. Worthless stuff. Jesus tells each of us in many different ways that those who love God's truth and the words of Jesus will be accounted worthy of eternal life. Shortly before Jesus died, he urged all his followers to never let anyone or anything trick them away from the words of Jesus. Matthew 24, he said, let no one, let nothing deceive you. Don't let yourself be deceived. Holding fast and practicing the words of Jesus is what causes us to be accounted worthy of being given eternal life.